Hello learners, in this lecture we will see what is plinth area or built up area and also what is carpet area. So coming to the plinth area, we will understand this. The built up covered area of a building measured at the floor level of any story, we call it as a plinth area. So this plinth area what we have, no? it includes the wall as well. So to put it in a better way, plinth area is also called as built up area and is the entire area occupied by the building including the internal and the external walls. So usually the plinth area what we have, it is 10 to 20% more than the carpet area. So how is this uh, practically going to look? So this is how it looks. So if you see any construction happening, so this beam what we have put up, no, it's called a plinth beam. So whatever area we have, let me do it here. So whatever area we get no, from this outer, these are the walls, okay? These are beam here and over the beam, the walls are gonna come later. So this outer to outer area, what I'm gonna draw, no? this entire thing here, similarly from here it has to go. No? This, all these things are my plinth area. Similarly, you can see it here, here they have put a plinth beam. So these things everywhere, outer to outer, including the wall, it is called as plinth area for me. So you can see the here, so this is the wall what they have constructed. So outer to outer, and from this outer to outer. So this area, let us say I'm getting some 200 square feet, okay? So this 200 square feet area is called as my plinth area, right? Yeah, so this understanding is okay for us. Now we'll see what is carpet area. So the covered area of usable space of a room at any floor is termed as carpet area. That means the carpet area is measured between walls to walls within the building. It is a sum of actual area which can be carpeted. By the name itself, when I say carpeted area, we all have seen what is carpet, right? The place where the ca carpet can be laid is called as carpet area. That means carpet area is an area which is enclosed within the walls. So in the simple words, area excluding a wall in the built up area is called as carpet area. So the formula what we have is carpet area is equal to whatever is my built up area, no? And in that if I deduct the wall thickness, I'm going to get my carpet area. So I'll show you in this only. See, this is my plinth area. So in this plinth area, if I try to deduct all this wall, no, whatever wall I have tried to deduct all this wall. Okay, this wall. And what is left now? These things are left out. That is this area from here to here and from here to here. And this is a place where I can throw or where I can put my carpet, right? So that is my carpet area. So always, whenever we try to purchase the house and all, for us the carpet area is important because and how this carpet area will uh, increase or decrease. See, nowadays what we are doing, we are actually making use of 200 mm thick. See, this is a wall what you want to construct, right? So, so whatever uh, thickness of the block you have in the market, we use previously we were using a nine inch by four inch by three inch as a thickness of a brick. So nine inch comes out to be 230 mm. So let us say I'm using a two, th I'll read all these things. Okay. Okay. So previously we were using nine inch thick brick work, right? So if I'm using a nine inch thick brick work, then let us say, let us say, uh, yeah, this is a thickness what I'm getting this much thickness is I'm getting. But nowadays what has happened, we are getting a cement block and the thickness of the cement block is eight inches. So eight inches comes out to be how much? 200 mm. So if you go to big cities and all, they've stopped using this brick. Instead of brick, what they're trying to do, no? They're trying to use a, make use of this block work. Since the thickness of the block work is 200 mm, what will happen? So instead of keeping this 230 thick with the help of a brick work, by using the cement block, you can reduce this thickness, right? So what will happen? Compared to 230, 200 mm will be something here, right? That means this much 30 mm extra space you're getting. So from 30 mm from here, 30 mm from this side, 30 mm from this side, this side. That means what will happen indirectly your carpet area, I'll write it here, CA, carpet area is going to increase. So this is a trend what is happening in big cities nowadays. Okay, so the carpet area is that area, which is the place where the carpet can be laid and it is measured from the outer to outer, outer to outer of the wall is called as carpet area. We'll try to see that again. See, you can see it here. Again, the carpet area, the area that it can, that can be covered by a carpet. Okay, wherever you can see the green color, no? See, this entire thing, what you can see, it is a built up area or the plinth area. That is this green color plus the pink color. But if you deduct all this wall, if you deduct all this wall, whatever green color you can see, no? This is my carpet area, okay? Yeah, 
Now we'll try to see the difference between all these things. What is built up area? What is carpet area? And what is super built up area? So as we have understood now, what is my built up area? So built up area is everything. This thickness of a wall plus this yellow color what we have, no? The carpet area, that is carpet area plus wall area. Together we call it as built up area. Built up area is also called as plinth, up, plinth area, okay? Now coming to the carpet area, if you detect the wall from there, whatever you are going to get, no? That is my carpet area, this bedroom, this much portion and all. The yellow in color, what you can see, you know, that is carpet area. Then what is super built up area? So this super built up area will be the area of the built up area plus the common area access. That means this will inclu include my carpet area. This, will, this would include my, this thickness of the wall. That means that is the built up area plus whatever this uh, common area what you have no? the staircase the lift portion the lobby and all if you add all these things then it becomes my super built up area okay so, but this super built up area will be distributed let us say you have another one house another uh, same flat here so in that case this super built up area what you have no? the corridor lift lobby and all it will be common for both the houses so we are never concerned about the super built up area we are concerned only about the carpet area when we try to go to buy any flats and all Okay, for us it doesn't matter because sometimes what happens the con when you go to purchase any flats and all they say that they say that we have very good super built up area, but they try to they want to sell their flat. But as a buyer, for us the carpet area is always important. So always we need to ask what is the carpet area because that is the area we are going to use, right? Anyhow, this much area what we have that is common for both the flat. So in that case we are not concerned with that, right? So we'll try to see one uh, practical drawing of this of AutoCAD drawing. See, this is one of the flat what I have. Okay, so you can see here. So this will be my carpet area. This bedroom portion what I have from here to here. This is my carpet area. And this entire house what I have, no? This is my built up area. And this is my, if you add all the staircases and all the staircase, if it becomes my super built up area. So this staircase what I have, this is common for this house as well as for this house, right? But for us, the important is only the carpet area. And this red color, what I have drawn, no? that is my plot area. Okay, this is my plot area. So we'll try to see uh, what is the importance of this plot area in now in this, yeah. So I hope these things are understood and they're clear. Now we'll try to see few other things. Yeah, what is setback area? It is a minimum open space that is required around any building. So this distance is provided to keep the building away from the road, the water bodies and the other building. So the empty space around the building, we can call it a setback area. So this setback area, how much you need to keep, it is actually decided by the local municipality authority. Generally in India, what we do, we live around four feet from all the sides of the building. And the reason behind leaving the setback area is to make the ease for the moving vehicles, for the ventilation and for the during the emergency purpose. So if you observe it here, if you observe it here, my setback area, setback area will be whatever is my plot area minus the built up area what I have, no? that will be my set, uh, setback area. I'll try to draw it here. Let us say this is a plot area what I have. This is my plot what I have, okay? Let us say this is a plot of, let us say it's a 30 feet by 50 feet plot. 30 feet by 50 feet is a plot. And in this, I'm going to construct my house in between somewhere here. I'm going to construct my house in between somewhere here. So this is my built up area. I'll write it here. This is built up area, but I left a space, right? But I left a space from here to here, right? Here to here, I left a space from, and from here to here, I left a space. And from here to here, I left a space. So this area, what I left, no, this is my setback area. And this we need to live because from what point of view, that is for the ventilation point of view, Right. If you exactly keep it here, if you exactly construct a building without leaving the setback, what will happen? You are not going to get a good ventilation, right? And also during the emergency purpose and all, we try to keep this setback area. So usually in the normal house and all, even though the municipal authority lay down all these things, people don't try to follow because they feel like they're wasting the place here. But when you go for high rise buildings and all, uh, when, uh, when we take up any big projects and all, then we have those rules 
and based on that rules we have to uh, leave the setback distance else we are not going to get the approval from the administrative department so that is why it is written here however the setback area increases for the high rise buildings and may go up to the several meters so because why why is that so because when we put up a high rise building and all uh, let us say you con you constructing a hospital and all in that case uh, tomorrow if fire breaks up what will happen you need a vehicle to come inside right you want your fire brigade to come inside and whenever your fire brigade want to come inside you need to have enough space in between your building and the plot boundary so that it can go around your building so all these are very important thing that we need to keep in our mind when we try to take up any construction activity yeah so in the same way what i have shown you here on the autocad you can see it here this is my plot area okay the red one and from here this is my built up area now you can see 7 feet 8 inches i have done the marking from the outer of the boundary to the outer of this similarly from here to here i have done this 12 feet 4 inches so these are my setback distance what i have done right yeah yeah you can see it here it's the same thing buildable area this is a setback distance this is a rear yard side yard and the rear yard in this way it is front side setback this is my this is my entire plot area the red one okay and this is my build buildable area this is a road which is passing by so this is my front setback this is my side setback and these are my back side setback and this is my another setback so in this way you need to leave the setback distance yeah and the last point of discussion is about the circulation area the area which is helpful in movement of the people through the building around or between the building we call it as circulation area so by the name itself it's understood the lobbies the staircases and the lift whichever we have in our building or in the apartment you no know, we call it as a circulation area so yeah so i hope uh, these things are clear up to here the main point of discussion was only the plinth area we need to understand what is plinth area carpet area and the setback area yeah i hope these things are understood up to here so we'll see you back in the next lecture Thank you.